Breaking tonight, Ferguson, Missouri, seeing a new round of protests forcing everyone, including local businesses, to remain diligently on guard. We heard a number of reports over the weekend about businesses being looted while police stood back, not engaging the looters. Now some of these business owners are taking matters into their own hands. Adam Weinstein is the owner of County Guns, and one of those owners personally defending his business. Adam, thank you very much for being here. And so did you observe the police standing back as, as looters threatened local businesses? Uh, the area that we're located in, there wasn't a, a large police presence. Um, when we did happen to call 911 that night, it took uh, quite a bit of time for them to respond. They were pretty busy down in the heart of the area. Have you, have you felt threatened and has your business been hurt? Our business, uh, as far as the monetary side has been hurt, uh, we've felt threatened several times uh, since Sunday night. We've been out there every night and there's been a, a few occasions where we've had some instances where we, we felt like we were being threatened in the, the neighboring businesses so as what, well. So what do you do? Do you take your gun and stand outside? I mean, how do you protect your store? Uh, we have a group of people uh, that are friends of ours, uh, some employees, uh, the other owner of the uh, St. Louis Inc. Tattoo Studio, which our business uh, shares a storefront with. Uh, we basically stand out front armed, and uh, anybody that approaches the uh, shopping center or the strip mall, we, we scrutinize and, and deal with them as we uh, deem necessary. It's incredible. I mean, it sounds like the Wild West. I, it, it, you know, we have this woman, this state senator, saying that this officer needs to be indicted or th these protests we've seen thus far are going to look like a picnic. Whether she should be saying that or not, do you believe she's right? Uh, as far as the officer being indicted, I, I find it pretty... Uh pretty bad to hear that when all the facts haven't come out. How, how do you indict somebody without all of the information? That seems a little premature. Um, as far as what's to come, uh, I share the same opinion with some of my, my other business owners that if, uh, for whatever reason, they do not indict the officer, uh, I believe things are going to get a lot worse. Let's hope that's not true. Adam, thank you. You're welcome.